What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Now, listen, man, I got some daily dose of internet clips, bro. And I, then I got this landlord video where he breaks down crying after this tenant destroys his crib. We're going to check that video out, man. And we're going to talk about it, all right? So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And, um... What's it? We got two daily. So I got a three piece for y'all, pretty much. The the what happens when you eat a bee, right? With all those clips, and then the giant iceberg crushes two men, and then the landlord video. All right, let's check them out. Here we go. This guy made a burger and ate a bee on accident. I cooked the hamburger, and I was eating it, and I almost lost my first one. I felt this pain on my tongue. And so I went to the bathroom and I opened my mouth and there was a D on it and it stung my my tongue. Oh, bro, that takes me back to my childhood right there, bro. I got stung on my lip as a child, bro. My, sh my joint swole up something huge. And it was back in the day where you know, all the old people would give you little remedies, man. So they was putting like tobacco on my lip and different things like that. But, yo, that took me back to my, yo, he got stung in his tongue, fam. Yo, his joints is the size of about five grapes. And I don't know how to get the swelling down. So somebody please help me. He later got some treatment and the swelling got smaller. <laughs> nah, that cat would have to get out. This guy went to a bar and ordered glasses of water for women that he liked. Get a gentleman over there, I got this for you. A water? What is this? Water. Cheers. Thank you. Yo, that's original though. <laughs> that's a conversation starter. All of these fans lined up along the tracks to wait for the Harry Potter train to pass by. Unfortunately, a regular commuter train was coming by at the same time and blocked their view. I swear to God. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna go and see if we can see up here. <laughs> this guy can jump really, really high. Bro, dude got hops, bro. He need to be on somebody's team. Fam, what he he got well over a 40 inch vertical and this is like almost flat footed almost hey. bro he got spring in his feet I, that last one got to be up to his shoulders This family was afraid of being buried alive when they died, so they made a grave with handles on the inside that opened to the outside. When they died, they were also buried with some food and water. They also made an air vent at the top that would give them air to breathe if they ever woke up. Here's an incredible drone shot of Italy's countryside. That just looks so peaceful. This person found out that a goldfish cracker fits perfectly in her ear. Way too much time on your hands.
that's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better. And I'll see you guys again. Yo, yo. Let's check out the, um, the landlord video next. Like, because I asked you to leave because you did not pay your rent. I asked you to leave my house. I wasn't evicting you. I didn't want to even put an eviction on your record. Bro. Are you seeing his crib right now? The fact that somebody would have the nerve to do that. I just asked you to leave my house and you do this shit? Like, because I asked you to leave my house? And you wouldn't leave talking about Timmy, you gonna have to take me to court? You, you do all this though? And see, this is what makes me hesitant about wanting to be a landlord, bro. Not everybody's a good tenant. He got to pay for that. Hopefully, uh, I don't know how that works. Does insurance cover that? Probably not. Do they? I'm asking. That's a lot of damage. Like, I ain't never did shit to you. Never. I gave your bitch ass a place to live when nobody else would give you a place to live. And you tear my shit up. Ain't no scam, bitch, because ain't no insurance on this motherfucker. This really come out of my pocket, bitch. So no insurance on this. No insurance on this. And you looking out for people. That's why you can't. And you want to, man. You want to, but it be the people you look out for that do you dirtiest. You got to have insurance to pull a scam, dumb bitch. Like you did this shit to me because I asked you to pay me my money? I work hard every motherfucking day. All I, I go to work and stay the fuck out the way. I don't bother no motherfucking body. I didn't care if you and your nigga was in this bitch selling drugs, doing whatever the fuck you was doing. I didn't give a fuck. I told you as long as you keep my house up and pay me my rent, I wasn't going to fuck with y'all. Ain't no landlord doing that shit. Because I know y'all gotta feed y'all family like I gotta feed mine, bitch. This is what the fuck y'all do to people. I swear to God on my mama, bitch, if I see you, I'm going to prison. And that's all my kids. I'll shoot you dead in your motherfucking face, bitch. Y'all you know, feel like the pain coming out of him. You hear it in his voice. You hear him crying. No insurance. Everything ought to come out of his pocket. Do you see the damage, though? I'm no... Uh, uh, I'm no carpenter, so I can't add that up in my head real quick. All I can sit here and look at it and say is that's a lot of damage, bro. A lot of damage. It's not just little cosmetic things. It look like some major damage in there. Floors had paint on them. Windows busted. Holes in the walls. He went in the bathroom. The sink was pulled out. The 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 laundry the the washer and dryer was damaged. Like you would almost think that that was like a crime of passion. Like that they like they had some in, like it seemed like they was intimate or something. Somebody really has to hate you to do that to you. Stove damage. Man is a motherfucker. I kill this bitch if I see her. Oh my, oh my soul. I believe him. I believe him. Just hearing his voice, looking at the damage, hearing how he talk, like I believe him. <laughs> I'm mad as fuck. I'm 
my motherfucking tennis court up here and ask me for $2,000 and I give it to him. Like this, I'm not that type of motherfucker. This is fucked up. This bitch bogus. This, bro, I'm so motherfucking mad. I swear to God. Oh, my mama, I'm mad, bro. If I see this bitch, I kill this bitch. Oh, my soul, I would. I kill this bitch. I do anything for people. I work hard for the shit I got so I can feed my kids and leave my kids something. I could be doing any motherfucking thing out here. I go to work and take care of my motherfucking kids. I don't go out. I don't do shit. <laughs> Fuck ass bitch. Man, I'm mad as fuck. This is why people be fucking people up. I swear to God. This is people fuck people up. I'm so mad. They know. <laughs> Lord God, I'm so thankful you. <laughs> and then you wonder why people be so cold hearted nowadays. It's because things like this has been done to them. My heart cold. My veins, ice is rolling through them. Because I've been done wrong in the past. People done screwed me over. So you expect me? Nah, man, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you know how the rest of the saying go. Like you try to look out for people. Try to give them a, a extend the olive branch. You try to help them up. Because you know it's, it's tough out here. But as soon as something is wrong, or as soon as you say no, they forget all the good that you did for them and do stuff like this to you, bro. It, it makes you not want to help people sometimes, man. And I know that's not right, but stuff like this happen, what you expect? You, I moved out of Racine because if I could have got to this bitch while she was doing it, it would be some... Flowers, flower bringing in. <coughs> Ooh, man, I would have killed that bitch. I would have, bro, I would have beat, I would have beat her and her kids up. I would have killed them all. Oh, my mom, I would have. She had them little ghetto, badass, ugly motherfuckers running around here with a hammer, busting my shit out. Punk ass bitch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whew. Lord, keep me. Lord, I need to. He just paced him, walking in circles, bro. You know, that's how you know you mad. Calm the fuck down. But I know I gotta start getting this shit up and secure this house. I'm so motherfucking mad. Look at this bitch. <laughs> Man. I mean, the bitch took a hammer to my washer and dryer. Like, I, I, I feel like everybody should live nice. Everybody should be able to live. I want my tennis to live good, so I'm putting the Samsung front loaders and shit. Like, landlords don't do this type of shit for in these bitches. What? Like, because I asked you to pay me my rent, and if you couldn't to leave, you bust out all my windows and tear shit up like this? Nikki, you a dirty bitch. <laughs> you a dirty ass bitch. On the real, you a dirty bitch. On the real. All the doors, all at, bro. Man, look at this. I can't even stop. Well, I, my dumb ass walking around in circles and shit. I'm so motherfucking mad. I'm confused my motherfucking self. <laughs> like this shit retarded. <sighs> I'm motherfucking crying. I'm mad as a bitch. <laughs> I'm mad as a motherfucker. Shit. Ooh. Look at the holes in the doors, bro. Bro. Broken glass. Man, I cannot believe this bitch did this though. It's cool. It ain't cool. <sighs> hey, go downstairs in that trunk. 
and grab some garbage bags, the, them heavy duty gar construction bags out the car. I feel for dude. You know what I'm saying? I feel for buddy. That's crazy that he had to go through that, man. After trying to really, like, look out for people, help people out, be there, be a good landlord and everything. And that's how people treat you, bro. Let's go, man. Instant iceberg almost crushes two men. These two explorers were climbing an iceberg when it started flipping over. Luckily, both of them managed to escape and didn't get hurt. Wow, how, how does that even... See, that's why I have no business on an iceberg. You comfortable? Get your mo... Oh my god, I thought he was dead. <laughs> Quiet as dishwasher. <laughs> A pilot let this person go on a flight with them to see if they could handle the force of flying in a fighter jet. At around 6 G's of force, he passed out. Back. Ah. The pilot taught the person how to breathe properly and managed to make it through 9 G's of force without passing out. Like that 525, Dr. First, All good right, morning. No! Have you ever seen closed captions of- <laughs> That's why you gotta mind your business. He may, have, he may have liked that. He could have took offense to that. He may have liked that, man. That he, he didn't want a, ho a nozzle on his hose, man. He old school with it. Y'all know old school people just put the finger over the hose, man. It's ski, 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 ski. Appear in the bottom of a TV or a live stream. This is the person responsible for typing those words out. This is what it looks like to be a stenographer. The keyboard of a stenographer is way different compared to a traditional keyboard. This is what a marriage market looks like in China. You can walk right in and look for someone that might be your potential husband or wife. <laughs> these men approach these two women and are trying to convince them that they are the perfect match. <laughs> situation speed dating speed marriage type of situation they got going on here oh man i need some videos like that uh, this seemed like a rabbit hole we should go down <laughs> these students made a video game where you need two people to control a unicorn <laughs> Here's a really cool feeding frenzy with sharks and dolphins. This diver found a clam that kind of looks like a human eye. Yes, it does. Don't eat that. Oh! That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Listen, man.
I need advice from y'all, man. I want to be a future landlord one day, but videos like that one that we saw today, bro, scares me to death. I, I ain't even going to lie to you. I ain't going to hold you none of that, bro. It scares me, fam. You know what I'm saying? But I know it's experienced people out there that, that can give you solid advice on what and what not to do. And, and you know what I'm saying? That can kind of steer me in the right direction, man, because those are the type of reservations I have for stuff like that. I know, of course, to have insurance on it. Step one, of course. You know what I mean? But other different things, how you can vet people and different things like that, man. Y'all give me some advice in the comment section below. All right. Till the next reaction to my piece, y'all stay solid. Hey.